everybody, welcome to Realm TV and welcome back to my NBA 2K19, my my league with uh, the Brooklyn Nets. This is episode 6, so if you guys don't cut off, look for the playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell. Uh, I'll tell you basically whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see, smash that thumbs up and try and get at least 3 to 5 likes. And don't forget to comment, I want to interact with you guys. Um, you know, if you think I should be making some moves on my team, why not? And, you know, let me know what I can improve upon. I mean, I have a struggling Nets team. We're 5-4. and four. We're, you know, hovering above 500. But we need to get better. Um, you know, I'm not... For whatever reason, I'm not enjoying playing with D'Angelo Russell. I can't play with him. I feel like I need a quick... A quick and explosive point guard like Russell Westbrook. Which I'm used to from last time, from the last season, but... You know, we need to get things going nice and quick. I mean, they get Brooke Lopez to slow things down. To get a good post game, but we'll see what to do here. We're going to be facing the Magic for the June, uh, January 7th game. So, we'll see. Oh, getting him up. For the layup. That is first bucket for Jared Allen and the Nets. Here's Green. Ooh, look at Gerald Green taking it to the basket. And that's up by one here in the first quarter, and both teams can't seem to miss. Ooh, look at a block by Jared Allen. Let's, let's keep moving. Green passes to Russell. Green kicks to Russell. Ball move in for three. Oh, gosh. Huge, as his ceiling is really high. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. There you go. Look at Larry Nance coming off the bench. Gets the assist from Dinwiddie. Made an impact already. I like, I like Larry Nance. Here comes Aliyub Ted Davis. Another pick and roll situation with these two. And it is golden. Oh, and there's a slam by Brooke Lopez. Putting Vujicic, I mean, uh, Vucevic, on a poster. Oof. Rook Lopez, post game too, too strong. Yeah, and battles like that help mature a player and really keep them focused. Those are areas where Russell had struggled. Joe Green with an alley-oop. Good defense turns to better O, leading to the alley-oop to Joe Green. Lopez has got three rebounds so far in the game. Carroll passes to Russell. For three, Green. That's a three for D'Angelo Russell. And respect for each other, and a real focus on and one and one for Larry Nance off the pick and roll. That is all we do. They cannot stop the pick and roll, so why will we stop? For three, got it. That's another three for D'Angelo. He plays a merry guitar, and they're up by twelve. Uh-oh. Larry Nance with the pump and the reverse off the slam. I feel like all my highlights have been pick and roll plays because they're not rotating fast enough. Three. Got it. Gerald Green shooting pretty well today. That's assist number 11 for D'Angelo Russell Reyes as we start the, the third quarter. Got him. Reverse. Gerald Green with a beautiful move to the basket again. The reverse as the lead goes up to 17. And Fournier kicks to kicks to Dinwiddie. Here's Lopez. Outside Russell. D'Angelo for three. Got it. 18 points, four rebounds, 11 assists for D load. Ooh, that's a block. Allen with a dunk. Fast break offense. Good D turns into better. Oh. 
that you believe either developmentally or going green for three got it 20 points for Gerald Green and here is green Gerald Green's gonna fly oh, open the layup 22 points in the game for Gerald Green the Mets the Nets are up by 13 in the fourth Green kicks to Lopez. Back to Green. Joe for three. Got it. That's another three. That's 25 points. He's got 25. Another. Russell with it. All right, so I'm just going to dribble this out. <clears throat> Nets are going to win by double digits. We're going to win 112 to 98. Nets are now 6 and 4 in the season. As I believe the Magic are now 2 and 6. Let's take a look at the stats here for the Nets. And let's see. Box score for the Nets. We've got Gerald Green leading the way with 27 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks. DeAndre Russell with a double double, six, uh, 18 points, 12 assists, 6 rebounds, almost a triple double. Jared Allen with 16 points, as well as Brooke Lopez, who had a double-double. Um, he had 16 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. Just all over the place in terms of stat sheet. Playing really well. And then the bench, you know, played pretty well there. And he has 9 points. Um, Ed Davis with uh, 8. Faree with 6. Damari with 5. And Levert with 4 points, shooting two for uh, 1 for 1. And Dinwiddie with uh, 11 assists, but shooting only 1 for 9. Um, and that's shot overall really, really well, 57, 50, 57%, 37% from the three-point line, and 73% from the free throw line. Uh, definitely limited at turnovers, 11 this time around. Not as bad as it usually is, around like 15, so that is definitely an improvement. Well, maybe only because Orlando's not a really good defensive team. Uh, so we're going to simulate um, the rest of the week and so, see what we got. So, the next game I want to really want to play is against probably the Bucks. So, we'll simulate up to here. Hopefully, nobody gets injured. And we're going to simulate this game against the Rockets. And we won. Wow, we won by four. Uh, that brings the Rockets record to 10 5. Let's take a look at the box score here. D'Angelo Russell with 27 points, 13 assists. Joe Green with 25 points. Brooke Lopez 20 points. They just poured it on here. And then we're going to simulate this game against the Mavericks. Uh, Jared Allen for... Get out of here. Nope. Not that trade. Um, simulate this game against the 7-5 Mavericks. And we lost by 6. Um, let's see. A double-double by Dinwiddie. And D'Angelo and Larry Nance, but Brooke Lopez nowhere to be found, shooting 3 for 10. Um, only 6 points. So we're going to go all the way up to this January 18th game um, against the Bucks. Uh, we're going to play against uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Excuse me. And um, right now they're 7 and 8, we're 7 and 5, so it should be interesting um, how well we're going to play against them because. I feel like they're more one of the more elite teams in the East, and it's a spot we're gonna be definitely fighting for. Uh, right now we are six in the East. Uh, we are game and a half in front of the Bucks, so we're gonna try to make some um, some space between us. But yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to click the like button. Uh, leave any comments below. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.